for more than a thousand years, in good times and in bad. The town of Windsor has taken pride in its enduring bond with the monarchy. And today, under blue skies and in glorious sunshine, the Royal Borough provides the setting for a funeral, a ceremonial funeral, as the longest serving consort in the history of the royal family is laid to rest. A long and productive lifetime, a history of real achievement, a peaceful death at the age of 99. These are all things certainly to celebrate and to mark with gratitude. Uh, today's funeral for His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, will certainly celebrate a life well lived. But it will also be a time of grief and loss for Her Majesty the Queen, who for over 70 years counted on the strength and advice of a dutiful husband and consort. It's a time of loss too for the children, the grandchildren and the wider family. It was here at Windsor Castle eight days ago that Prince Philip passed away and it is here in the private chapel that the Prince has been lying at rest before today's funeral which will take place within the castle precincts in the splendour of St George's Chapel.